Hey, Jared Brindle here with a bit of an update on the 2022 season and how it's going so far. Have had the first round of the WA Super Lights, didn't really go to plan, had some mechanical issues, so that one came to an end pretty quickly, unfortunately. Next month, heading into the second round of the Super Lights, which is actually in Pingerley, which is my, on mum's side, family hometown. So that'll be interesting. And hopefully the buggy will be ready to go and we can try and run up front Quick rundown on the buggy, it's a Can-Am Maverick X3 XRS model. They come pretty good out of the box, uh, Fox shocks from factory, a few things like that. Uh, but there's always going to be things that you need to add to get them up to spec for racing. Uh, both strength and reliability type things, uh, as well as a bit of speed. I've gone ahead with the S3 Power Sport front gusset kit on this one. And I've done a few other gusseting things on trailing arms and the front arms myself. Um, I've also gone ahead with the Evo Power Sport tune, uh, just bumped it up to 180 horsepower, so nothing too crazy. Hopefully the factory clutching can handle that uh, without blowing too many belts and, and keep it nice and reliable. Done some other things like added the Nerf bars, uh, full size doors, I've changed the factory tyres to the BFG KM3s. Um, a few things like the front bumper and adding lights as well. Uh, all these things can, can be made to meet the standards that you need for racing. The other main thing is cutting off the factory cage and adding a cage that meets the requirements for mostly safety, um, as well as keeping the frame rigid, uh, a bit of strength all round. So that should be a pretty competitive little package for me. Quick thank you to the sponsors I've got on board for this season. Dirty Steve Foam Wash, available at your local Repco store. Got Pace Apparel on board as well, and Penrite looking after all my oil needs.